Hey AV campers, what's going on? It's Katrina here, and join with me is Billy, my awesome friend, and we're gonna be baking for you guys. So, what are we gonna bake? We're gonna be baking, let me tell you, we're gonna be baking some gluten-free, dairy-free cookies. Um, for those of you that know me, I unfortunately am gluten-free and dairy-free, and I know a bunch of you are too, so why not use that to our advantage, right? So first thing we're gonna do is wash our grimy hands because we don't know where they've been all day and we don't want those germs to go into the cookie mix. So let's go wash our hands. All right, so to start off, you wanna grab your wonderful mixing bowl this mixing bowl is just magnificent, so get you one of those. Then we have our cookie mix. Just to let you guys know, this one is the King Arthur flour. I recommend it, it's my favorite, literally my favorite one. So it's delicious. Then we have eggs, it calls for one egg. Then we have avocado oil. I love avocado oil. Um, if you don't have avocado oil, you can use vegetable oil or any oil that you like. Then we have semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, these ones are dairy free, so definitely recommend. Then our one half cup and a teaspoon. It calls for two tablespoons of water, but I don't have a tablespoon. So just so you guys know, three teaspoons is one tablespoon. So I'm gonna be using six teaspoons to equal two tablespoons. And so for this recipe, you're gonna do a half cup of the avocado oil. And then when you're finished, just put it in the sink. All right, all right. So next, it says that you have to be in half of the cookie mix into the avocado oil or whatever oil and beat it till it gets like this liquidy um, consistency. Okay, so just cut the cookie mix. And then I kind of just measure it by like my eyes. Um, so I put like my finger, like half of the bag, and then I kind of just measure it from there. So. I would say that's half of the bag. Now you wanna grab your whisk. So you get your whisk and you just mix the oil with the cookie mix. Okay, so kinda to just show you guys, you wanna make sure you get all of the like white clumps out because you don't want clumpy cookies. No siree. So it kinda just like looks like a liquid. Looks like sand, actually, to me. All right, so next, you're gonna want to crack an egg into the mix. We're gonna try a one-handed crack. This might go really bad, okay? I did it, I did it, I did it. Okay, now go throw this away. So after you crack your egg, you wanna do the two tablespoons of water. So I'm gonna go get six teaspoons of water. And I'm gonna take my bowl with me. Come, come along. Okay, so once you get your water into your mix, now you're just gonna to wanna to start mixing. Okay, so now that we've mixed it, we want to add in the rest of the cookie mix, so that like other half that you have, and just pour it into the bowl. Also, make sure you're scraping the sides because you don't want any of the flour mix to be left untouched, you know, everyone's included. Okay, so now that you've beaten it, it looks like this. It's kind of fluffy. And now we're gonna add in our chocolate chips. I'm so excited. For those of you that don't know, chocolate is like my lifesaver. It is so delicious. 
I eat chocolate like every day. So, the recipe calls to do like one to three cups, but I don't like measuring because I kind of just eye it. Um, so yeah, you can put as many chocolate chips into your mixture as you want. So, I put a lot. Um, no shame, so I put like that much. And now you just mix it in to your flour mix. All right, so so far we've mixed in the chocolate chips and we're ready to start shaping them into cookies. Okay, so next I brought out my cookie trays um, and I line my cookie trays with parchment paper just so that the cookies don't stick when I take them out of the oven. You can use like cookie stick spray or something. Um, you just wanna save time and effort, you know? Don't make it hard on yourself. All right, so now, before we do anything, we wanna heat up our oven. Um, the recipe calls to heat it up to 350. So, heat your oven to 350. So, for those of you that do not know, us foreigners like to store Purexes in our oven. Why not use the oven as extra storage, right? Now that we've taken everything out, you're gonna preheat your oven to 350. Okay, so I scooped out all of my cookie dough out of my bowl and onto the trays. And I used two trays, and now it's time to go into the oven. And ready. Okay, so now that the oven is ready, we can go ahead and put these babies in. Make sure not to burn yourself because I've done that and it hurts. Okay, so now that the cookies are in, we wanna put them in for 10 to 12 minutes. I usually put them in for 11 minutes just so that they're gooey and crispy and delicious. So now we wait. Oh God, how long has it been? I haven't even been tracking. I haven't even been timing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, don't be like me. I just forgot to time it. Um, actually time it. <laughs> okay, so I just took them out. Um, so one, of, one tray came out really well. Okay, it looks beautiful. I'm sure it tastes wonderful. And then this poor tray, I uh, left it in a little too long. And I mean, it still looks delicious. Don't get me wrong, but it's just a little, uh, crispier than I wanted it to be, but it's okay, it's still edible. And now we're just gonna let them cool and I'll be back in like 15 minutes. All right, and we have the finished product. They're so good. I definitely recommend you guys doing this recipe. Billy had like 10 of them, so you know they're good. And yeah, I hope you guys try this out. Everyone can eat them, like your family members, but they're strictly gluten-free, dairy-free. So, you gluten-free, dairy-free people out there, you're gonna have a good time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to watch all of our virtual camp videos and just have fun. And I hope you guys are staying safe and staying happy. I love you guys. Bye. Let me get my scissors. They're just like a perfect row of six. Oh no, a row of eight. <laughs> and now this <sighs> good intentions. What, what, what intentions? Like obviously have good intentions. <sighs> All right, I filmed this 20 times just because I covered the mic every single time. So we're just gonna, all right. Hello villagers and welcome to Cooking with Chef Oyarshid. I know that's backwards, just act like it's not. And today we have a very special co-host who came all the way from the Antiochian village. Everybody give a round of applause for Billy himself. He is going to be there to guide me the whole time because I'm going to need it. 
All right, my apologies, but I'm gonna have to keep cutting and going back because I don't really know how to edit. So this is just easier for me to cut it and then keep going. All right, anyways. So today on the menu, we have something a little different, a little fun, a little creative. <laughs> So one of my favorite things in this whole entire world is hot Cheetos and I was like how can I make that into a food and one day I was scrolling on TikTok and I saw hot Cheeto wings and I was like no way <laughs> it was meant to be so today we're gonna make hot Cheeto wings and it's gonna be a fun time so stay tuned all right so for our ingredients today you will need a bag of hot Cheetos some wings some back back Wow, back pepper, <laughs> some black pepper, um, some salt, some hot sauce. This will help stick the hot Cheetos to the wings. Those three are like a must. And then these two are optional, but garlic powder for like seasoning and paprika to make it a little bit more spicy. All right, I put my hair up because we're gonna start working with the chicken. So first thing you're gonna have to do is put your chicken into a, a big bowl. And then you're gonna add your seasonings. So that for me, well for everybody, black pepper and salt, that's like a must. And then your garlic powder and your paprika, that's for me because, well, you can obviously add it. It will add, this will add a little bit more spice and then this adds a little bit more flavor. You know, us Arabs, we love the garlic and everything. So garlic powder is just like, you know, just like adding that garlic. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna show you how much I'm about to put. All right, so I had to bring you guys down here so you could see me putting it in everything. So this right here is a half a teaspoon. Right here, it's a little heart. How cute. And I am going to be putting in a half a teaspoon of all the spices. So this right here is a black pepper. Open. All right. And this right here is about, um, I think it's 10 to 12 wings. Yeah, all right, that's a good amount. Yeah, I think it's 10. So, yeah, I'm using a half a teaspoon. You don't want to overspice it because, again, the hot Cheetos will give a lot of flavor. Wow, this is going to take a minute. You get the idea. I'm going to add this much salt. I'm going to add that later when I'm not filming. So, the garlic powder. Oop. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. I'm sorry. All right. All right, so next up, you're gonna wanna evenly mix everything to make sure it's all evenly co coated. And yeah, this is chicken, so you're gonna get a little dirty. And afterwards, you need to make sure everything is nice and clean because this is raw chicken. <laughs> so I will cut back to you guys when everything is evenly mixed and we will be ready to fry. All right, so while the um, wings are sitting, and the oil is heating up. I have some hot Cheetos here in a blender cup. And I'm gonna close it to get ready to crush it up. All right, so this is gonna, oh, did I close it right? Excuse me, sir. We are having some technical difficulties. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so this is gonna be loud when I blend it, so I'll just talk now. So I'm gonna blend this, and I'm using a small blender just to get everything really fine. And if you're using a big blender, make sure to do a little bit at a time, just because um, it won't crush up as well. So yeah, I'm gonna mix this now, and then I'll show you it when it's done. All right, so right here we have our crushed up hot Cheetos and our hot sauce for after we fry it. And right here is our chicken. It's been sitting for like 10 minutes and it's all mixed. And then right here's our oil. As you can see, it's heating up. And for after we fry, like after we take the chicken and we fry it, we have a paper plate right here, or a glass plate with paper on top uh, to dry it down. So yeah, I'm gonna start placing the chicken in the fryer and I'll let you guys know how long it takes and all that. So this is the Arab way to test if oil is hot, but you take a little piece of pita bread and you drop it in there and you see how it's bubbling? That's how you know it's ready. So we can go ahead. I'm using tongs for this. Um, so you're going to take your wings one at a time, very slowly, and you're going to start, you're going to drop it very low, 
like that. That's one piece right there. I'm probably going to do another one. All right, my oil calmed down again, and I'm going to place another one very low, like that. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes, so I'm going to take them out now. You want to be very careful because it is hot oil. You're going to let it drip for a little bit. All right, and then you're going to place it down on the paper. Paper towel. This one too. All right, and then these two are now ready to uh, be coated and uh, put in the oven. All right, so as these are cooking still, I'm going to set my oven to bake. And then uh, 375. All right, and that, that's going to preheat for a little. And while that's preheating, I'm going to take these, which are the ones that were done, and I'm going to start to dip them in the hot sauce and the hot Cheetos. So we're going to get a good, nice coat. That way they could stick. Sorry, I'm like not good at multitasking. All right, and then you're going to let that drip for a little bit. And you're going to start coating it. I'm gonna get a nice coat. These, um, I let them be whole. Like, usually some people will cut them. But I just like eating them whole. But yeah, you're just gonna get a nice even coating and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so this is what they came out like. Um, I did get a little messy. I ended up using my hands, but um, they're pretty good. I set the oven for 375 and it's done right now. Um, so I'm gonna place these in there for, these are bigger pieces, so um, I'm probably gonna do 15 minutes, but you can do anywhere from 13 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna do 15 though. So I'll check back in with you guys when they're done. Hey, Billy, how you doing there? Good? Look at that smile. Like, are we, oh, I have to keep it landscape. Look at that smile. Like, tell me he's not pumped for these hot Cheeto wings. Da -da -da -da. We have like four more minutes. He's joining the family, guys. Look, ready? Can you go back? Back. Oh, there we go. Billy has entered the family chat. He's just gonna stay there now. What? Yep. All right. All right, so we're gonna go take them out right now and see what they look like. Ooh, it's hot. All right. Ooh. I mean, they look the same as when we put them in, but still. Oof, they are hot. All right, guys, so this is it. This is the final product. I am literally so pumped to try these. Like, you guys have no idea how much I am obsessed with Flaming Hots. Like, hold up. Like, the best thing in the world. But anyway, um, I'll let you guys know how these taste. All right, so I just ripped up a piece. Like, I ripped up one of the big pieces into half, and this is what it came out like. And this is insane, guys. Like, I'm so impressed with myself. Like, this is really good. If you love hot Cheetos, like, you have to try this. Like, I am obsessed. And uh, Billy in the back, he had a piece, and he liked it, too. Um, so, yeah. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you are enjoying virtual camp. And, um, yeah. Let me know if anyone tries it. Uh, you can DM me at Julia Rashid. And, uh, yeah. Bye, guys.